Hi, my name is Frederick. For the last 15 years, I have worked in the Arctic with the production of photography, mostly on my own projects like books, but also for others like the National Geographic. And five years ago, I met this woman and everything changed. My name is Melissa Schiffer. I work as a photographer in the Arctic now since four years. My love for the polar bears and the Arctic started when I was very young. They have always been a big part of my life. And of course more now, and in a very real way, since I work with them. We have now made our first book together. It's called Polar Tales. It is a story about ice, life, and future. Told not by us, but by the polar bear. So, we work in the Arctic and we work with the polar bear and its role in a changing climate. And we do this because we feel it's important. And we also do it because we love the life on the ice. We love the long expeditions during winter. And yes, of course, we love the polar bear. Our goal is to get close to these bears in the sense that we actually learn something about them, that we connect. And getting close takes time, not hours or days, but years. And after all this time with the bears, after all the encounters and moments, we finally begin feeling close to them. The goal with our work and our new book is to let the polar bear tell its story. Because climate change is real, it is a fact, and the polar bear can show us in a very clear way what we are doing with our planet and how we are shaping our future. As the sea ice of the Arctic retreats and the territory of the polar bear becomes open water, its home shrinks and melts away and its possibilities to thrive and survive disappears. Uh, by looking at what happens with the polar bear, we see our own future. Uh, the Arctic sea ice coverage in summer has shrunk by half in the last four decades and its volume by a brutal 75%. The old thick ice is gone. And here's the thing, and this is where you come into the picture. What happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. The ice of the north plays a very important role regulating our global climate. Our two poles work as our planet's own air conditioner. And when they shrink, not only does the warming accelerate, but our climate becomes more unstable and unpredictable. No one can hide from a climate in chaos. This is the most serious challenge humanity has ever faced. The climate crisis is something everyone talks about, but not everyone feels connected to, even when we are all connected. Like we always say, we only care for what we love, and this is our goal. Make you feel, love, and protect the polar bear, the Arctic, and our planet through the eyes of the polar bears and our personal stories with them. The goal with our work is to bring you right into it, into our world, our wonders, and especially in a time we need to understand this part of the world even better, and we need to fight for it. Our work with the polar bear is a lot about moments, about experiences. It is these that when you connect them become life, it is these that when you connect them, become a story. And we believe storytelling can change the world. These are important times. These are times when we need to be very clear about everything. Because what we choose to do in the next few years decide so much. And the question now is not how we feel about all of this. The question, of course, is what we do. Words like these are just words. And it's easy to think or say that what we do as individuals doesn't make much of a difference. 
but nothing could be further from the truth. It doesn't matter if your part is big or small, it is equally important. Because everything is connected. Every ounce of ice, every drop of water, and every single life on this planet is connected. That is what we need to understand. All our actions have consequences. Not only for ourselves, but for life far, far away. The goal with our work and our new book is to let the polar bear tell its story. And that is a story about ice, about life, about all of us. But more than anything, it's about love. Love for each other, love for this planet, and all the life we share it with.